Uh, my name is Emil Ong. I'm a software engineer and an evangelist for Couchow Technology. Uh, what we're presenting today is uh, the Quercus PHP engine, uh, which is our implementation of PHP in Java running on the Google App Engine. So um, some of our, of our motivation for doing this was uh, partly, you know, the App Engine is a, with the introduction of Java to the, the App Engine stack. We're really excited about uh, adding other languages. PHP is one of the most popular languages on the web. Um, so being able to use PHP on the Google App Engine is just, uh, it's a lot of fun and it offers a really new scalable way to run PHP. And so Java really gives us that power to run additional languages and um, our implementation is PHP. So you chose uh, App Engine. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you came to choose App Engine platform. Sure. So um, part of the reason that we chose App Engine is that it offers uh, a new way of running Java on the web. So um, traditionally, Java is one of these languages that uh, you need to go out and find an ISP that will let you uh, build, your frame, build your stack from the bottom up. Google, by adding Java to the App Engine, has really changed that, that framework making it so that uh, even people who aren't experts at Java administration, if they're Java developers, now they have a framework for that. And um, adding PHP on top of that gives more flexibility, not only to PHP developers, but also Java developers as well. Quarkus, because it's written in Java, allows some really unique integrations between the PHP and Java sides, especially in the data layer area. So as developers, uh, we really value being able to share war stories, uh, yes. lessons, and technical challenges. Tell us about one particularly difficult period of development that you faced and how you approached that challenge. Sure. So, um, y you know, the, the App Engine provides uh, some of the, the really basic uh, building blocks that you need for writing Java applications, but um, because it's designed for Java, some of the ways that PHP behaves uh, are, are not exactly built into this. So one of the biggest issues is um, you've heard of the, the LAMP stack, which is Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, right? A lot of PHP applications are written for MySQL. Um, some of them are written in a little bit uh, better way and some of them not, not as good, but they all, at the end of the day, end up persisting their data into SQL. Uh, some of them persist it into um, files that they write at runtime as well. Both of those avenues of, of writing data are just not available in the App Engine. So one of the things that we're doing, um, one of our engineers named uh, Nam Nguyen, has taken uh, the WordPress PHP blogging software, really incredibly popular piece of PHP software, incredibly popular uh, blogging software, converted a layer of that, that that uses MySQL to instead use the Java uh, data store that's available in, in App Engine, specifically using uh, JDOs. Now WordPress is, is really um, very amenable to this kind of change because it's written in an ORM object relational mapping style. But um, other, other frameworks and applications that we looked at first weren't really written in quite, a, quite an easy way as, as that. So uh, we went through a lot of time looking for the, the appropriate application and then once we found it, converting that uh, from using pure SQL statements to using a combination of, um, of Java and PHP with JDOs. Um, so besides requests for, for new languages, what are your top feature requests and how would you use them? Um, one of the biggest feature requests that, that we have, um, especially as it relates to PHP, is uh, because we, we offer Quercus right now as an open source project, so it's available under GPL, um, but this is the interpreted version. Quercus comes in two flavors. One is an interpreted version, 
uh, and then another is a compiled version which actually takes PHP uh, to Java and then compiles it into bytecode from there. Um, that's a commercial product and as a commercial product we'd like to be able to find some way to bill for that as well. So um, something like a pay-as-you-go kind of billing, that, that's something we'd, we'd really like to see. Um, some of the other things, uh, the you know, with the, the, the SQL and, and being able to write to the file system, we've actually been surprised. We've been able to find ways around that. So that hasn't big, been as big of a roadblock as we thought it would be at first. Uh, how is using App Engine data store compared to the traditional SQL developer? So it's actually really interesting. In the, in the WordPress uh, conversion that I talked about before where we changed their, their PHP implementation of, of an ORM into uh, using Java, it actually simplified the code in a lot of ways, which is, which is really surprising because they had to write this whole framework in their application directly. Um, we were able to strip out some of that because it wasn't necessary because that functionality is provided in Java for us. So Java um, and PHP integrating together um, actually allow uh, a, a really nice access to the data store that you wouldn't have in sort of a traditional PHP environment. How has App Engine simplified application development and production maintenance? So um, the App Engine really is, is great for, for managing uh, both Java and PHP sites because you, you have all the scaling built in for you. So that's one of the biggest headaches with, um, with any traditional site where it's it's your responsibility to manage the application server, the server itself, any additional functionality logs, all that sort of thing. So being able just to deploy your application directly into this auto-scaling environment really simplifies the administration of it. Um, providing the, the application layer, uh, or the, uh, the, the PHP framework layer, is something that, that we had to deal with specifically because we're a framework provider. But for application developers, I think they're gonna find a much easier story with, uh, with Google App Engine than if they manage their own. There are a lot of benefits and trade-offs um, there, but it, it's certainly great to have that option for, for application developers. Okay, well, uh, thank you for your time today. Hope you have a wonderful show. Okay, thank you very much.